We had a lot more announcements. Yeah. So, so I'll turn it over. Yeah. Wait, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll turn it over to our MC, Stephen Vance, uh, and give us a good one. So uh, if you have a computer tonight and you want to follow along, this is all the resources that you pair ahead of time, although uh, like 20% of you have said at some point that you either ride the bike or have already started developing something or you're going to develop something. And so I expect you to add those in as I'm talking. And so the link is uh, j.mp, capital Divi, capital half pad. It's a, a wiki style uh, website. Uh, so I'm, we're just going to run. Oh, I guess I should talk about why we're doing this the second time. So Divi, we had Divi Data Day uh, in June last year. Elliot was here. Uh, another uh, one of his coworkers, Dan Golke, was here. Dan uh, works for the parent company. He kind of traveled around the country helping the other bike share systems set up around the country, and he was kind of their data expert. So he's kind of helping us get us jump started on understanding the data. And also, uh, and so now we want to do it again, because Divi has been around since June 28 or 9. Yeah. And, um, and it's going to get bigger. Uh, so I'm going to let Elliot and Sean talk more about Divi as a system, as a, as a transportation system and also what data is available. And then after that, we're going to show some apps and visualizations that some people have already created. And then we'll, we have more after that. Hi. Uh, so I'm Ellie Greenberger. I work at Divi. I'm the general manager. And I'm here with Sean. And I'm Sean Waddell. I'm the assistant commissioner at CDOT. And I'm the program manager on the city side for Divi. So I'm from the operator, and we work together on, on Divi. Um, first of all, really excited to be here. I recognize some of you from Twitter, actually. It's <laughs> kind of interesting to see your face like this big. Um, so it's good to see your face in the flesh. But uh, neither Sean nor I, the bad news is we're not really technologists. But the good news is that um, we're really open. And actually, I, I don't want to give you credit for this, but the whole release of the data was, we were always planning on doing it, but sometimes we just need a little more we we Yeah, poked. we were poked in the best I, possible I way. Like you <laughs> said, you want to do this event, um, and we thought, well, that's the perfect timing to release the data. So that's all to say that we're really open. Um, we want to get your feedback tonight. Find us afterwards if you don't get any questions in. Um, tell us what you want to see, because we want to spend our time on things that are going to be useful to you guys. Um, and then we'll relay that back to our team. So um, apologies that we're not you know, the most data scientific ourselves, but we do have the right spirit in mind, hopefully. Um, and when Elliot says, refer it back to my team, all of that means the voice is in my head for me, because I am my team. <laughs> Sean's a one-man I'm the only one at C Network. I've got lots of help, but I'm the only one working. Yeah. So. Um, how many people are Divi members? Awesome. How many people have written Divi? Okay. Um, so most of you know what Divi is. How many people are compulsive about it? How many people are <laughs> Divi addicts? How many people signed up for Divi Brags when Divi Brags was available? <laughs> to track Divi trips. Brags. Okay. So that was another thing. It's like trip tracker. Yeah, Divi Brags is this app that um, <laughs> created where you can basically track your own trips and see how many miles and charted and all that. Um, that was, again, something that someone came to us with, and we didn't really have the resources to jump an API at the moment, but we worked with him to make sure that it was secure and safe. That was basically our number one concern. We don't want to make sure, we don't want people giving away their password. So, you know, if you have an idea and you want to come to us, we're more than happy to work with you. Uh, so, Divi launched June 28th, uh, 300 stations. We finished our third number, 300 station on. October 29th. 29th. Yeah, it took forever. It took a long time, uh, but over the summer we, we expanded up to 300. Uh, we're continuing to operate over the winter, most of you know, and we're going to hopefully expand uh, very shortly to 175 more stations, to 475 stations. Um, Sean is the person responsible for uh, leading the siting team, so figuring out exactly where all the stations go. And maybe you can talk a little bit sure. about yeah, so we, as Ellie mentioned, we have a really great collaborative relationship, as you can tell, a little bit of self-deprecation. And um, 
have, we have fun working together. Um, but we are expanding Divi this year. We've got a couple different things. We actually have three different approaches. So we, of course, in Chicago, there's no way to get around politics. So we've met with all the aldermen uh, where we're going to be expanding Divi to get their suggestions on where Divi stations might go. More importantly, I would argue, but don't. Well, you can post this anyway, so I will be quoted on it. But uh, more importantly, uh, we are actually uh, doing pop-up meetings. So we're actually out in the communities where we're going to be expanding this year, uh, working with existing venues and existing groups like farmers markets or community meetings or CAPS meetings, and actually getting people's input on where they'd like to see Divi stations. And then finally, um, we've got a, a website, which I'm sure most of you have seen, 